I'm uh, Brian from Roboticy, and I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about how to get the uh, the Ram B T3 and a Teensy 3.0 off the ground and uh, running for you. So the first thing you have to do if you get one is you have to be able to install some software. Um, I would recommend doing that from here. Uh, if you were to go ahead, let me, let me make this a little bit smaller so we can all see each other. Um, there we go. Um, I would just go right to the pjrc.com website. Um, from there you can get both the Arduino software, which you may or may, may not have, but if you don't, you're going to need it, as well as the interface software necessary to make the TNC 3.0 work for you. Um, so again, pjrc.com. Click on the Teensy USB board, um, and from here you can see you, you probably have the Teensy 3.0. Some of you might have the Teensy 2.0. Um, you can find here a link to the Teensy Arduino software. Um, if you don't have Arduino, I would still recommend actually getting it from this site. Uh, they, 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 they build an interface which works with the Arduino software, which is really flawless, but um, <clears throat> it tends to vary a little bit so far as uh, which you know, Arduino seems to be updated and then these guys follow along, yada yada. Um, if you get it from here, you're going to go ahead and get the version which uh, is most recently updated to fit everything together flawlessly. So download your Arduino software from here, you're going to be good to go. Um, the next thing you're going to need, of course, is the interface software, uh, the TNC Arduino. Uh, you can download it from here, and it works in a whole bunch of different languages and platforms, uh, Mac and, and Linux and, and, of course, Windows. Um, and uh, you download it, follow the instructions that are here. It's important when you do install the Arduino software, remember the location where you extracted the files. The, the, uh, the TNC Arduino has to be installed with a reference or an in-net directory. So just make sure you, you know exactly where it ended up. Um, follow these instructions and you will get a nice flawless inter integration. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and show you where we are. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Arduino software, and when it does, we get ourselves a nice, clean sketch. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do, now I'm going to show you the, the, the motherboard. Here's the motherboard. It's got a, uh, a uh, TNC 3.0 installed in it uh, properly. The USB port is facing the front next to the switches. I'll go ahead and plug it in. Notice the switch, I don't have any batter packs on here, so it doesn't really matter what I do with the switches. You can't plug it in um, if the switch is in that position. Okay, It has to be in the off position for you to be able to plug in the USB port. And lo and behold, uh, I now have my Teensy 3.0 running off the power supply of the USB. Um, and it's got the default program running so it's flashing the light every second or so. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we'll probably just go ahead and play with that. Um, seems like a good place. Make sure everything's working. I'm going to... Uh, we'll just change that. We'll just change it so we can change the, the amount of time that the, the, uh, the light flashes. Uh, I'll let you guys know that I have a bit of a dyslexia so I won't type very well, very quickly. Uh, even though I've done lots of coding, it, it's very laborious for me. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And here we have a nice little chunk of code. Uh, first thing I've done is I've uh, created a uh, <coughs> an integer, a variable. I can name it whatever I want. I called it LED. Um, you should always name your variables something that seems appropriate. It helps it to be descriptive of what it is. I mean, I could actually call this um, uh, 
school. Okay, doesn't really matter. Um, but it's important then if I do name this this variable foo, which doesn't really describe anything, that I follow it through. Um, we have a setup. We have to set the direction of the the the, the pin. Um, once again, I'm I'm going to change my variable to foo. So now we know we're going to have it set as an output. Um, and by the way, pin 13 is by default um, hooked up to this LED right here. And actually you can uh, play with it externally. The, these three pins here, which do not have a female socket on this bus, but it is over here, um, are the... Uh, the, uh, the corresponding pins, so you can see it there. Um, we have a loop, which is going to go round and round and round and round forever. And once again, I should probably change these to foo. And I'll change that one to foo. Again, I can name it whatever I want. And you can see my light is currently flashing by default, uh, as it did when I bought it brand new at one pulse per second. Let's change it to I don't know. Uh, let's make it. Let's just get rid of a zero here. Make it flash quickly. And you're going to see. I'm going to upload it. And this is the first time, or if it is the first time for you, uh, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to say, "Whoa, wait a second! I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to talk to a Teensy 3.0. By gosh, by golly, I need to launch the." Arduino software, and there it is. It just popped up. Okay. Sometimes, most of the time, the first time you do it, it's going to say press the button to activate, which is this. Although in this case, because I had played with it, it's already been connected. It understood it, but the first time you do it, you're gonna have to push this little button right here. Push it, and that's going to reload the software. And you can see that my light is now flashing uh, at uh, 10 times a second. Um, and let's go ahead and bring that down again. Let's make it go back to 1. And from this point on, as long as it's connected and not disconnected, uh, you should just be able to do this. And it will automatically reboot everything OK. And uh, life is good. So. Let's end this video, and uh, I'll set you up in the next one where you have some uh, sensors, and we'll just build from there. And I'll see you later. Thanks.